<laughs> hey guys, hi. Welcome to Greece. I'm in Crete right now, but I'm gonna go grab myself a glass. I'm gonna give it a wash first though. <laughs> How's your day going? Mine's been pretty good. But it's 7 p.m. here, 7 p.m. here in Crete. So it is, I'm overdue for a nice glass of wine. <laughs> yes, I do work for Naked News, but I'm not, and no, I'm not in Toronto right now. <laughs> I'm making dinner. Tonight I'm gonna be making some grilled veggies and whew, what is this? Some delicious meat. Oh cool, I love Florida. Florida's a lot of fun. Okay, nice clean glass right here. And I'm gonna show you this wine. This wine is so good. It's been my favorite wine of the trip and it costs four euros. It's wine that comes in a jug, too. Who would have thought? But Crete has the most magnificent, magnificent wine. <laughs> so, let's try it out. It's very sweet. It's delicious. I'm going to really miss it when I'm gone, but I'm here for one month. I've almost had a full, complete week here, though. Oh, cooking is so relaxing for me. <laughs> and cheers. Look how pretty it is. <laughs> I'm happy that all of you are here. Oh, and I have to do the dishes too. Of course I have to do the dishes. Here we go. And these are my clean pots and pans, but got to wash the cutting board. I've got to, got to do this eggplant. I have some, some nice mushrooms. I already cut out my peppers and onions. Oh, you'll cook for me. You can cook, you got to cook with me now, but depends. What are you good at cooking? I've been eating so many things here. My favorite is moussaka. It, it's very similar to shepherd's pie. Really, really delicious. It's got mashed potatoes and ground beef, but it's it's a little sweeter than shepherd's pie. It's got uh, nutmeg in it. Mm. Nutmeg. <gasps> I love trying new things. Today, I tried pork schnitzel. I've only had chicken schnitzel before. That was in Germany for Oktoberfest. Are oh, you cooking lobster? Oh, that sounds amazing. Well, I've never tried cooking lobster. I think that might be on my, my capabilities. For now, for now, maybe I'd need someone to show me. I'd need a good friend to teach me. Okay, time to get chopping. <laughs> hey, King, what's up? Yeah, I love shepherd's pie. I love I love bar food. I always have. And oh, you know what's really good that they have here? They have, do you know Spankopita? It's like a, a crust, nice flaky pastry with spinach and cheese in it. They have mini versions of those. I forget what they're called, something pies. Spinach pies or cheese pies, that's exactly what it is. And man, it's so good. <laughs> oh, you're from Chile, cool. I, I'm Canadian, I'm from Toronto, but ooh. yeah, Canadian from Toronto, but I'm in Crete right now, Rathimno, Rathimno Crete, and Rathimno is a city 
if you look at the island of Crete, it's like, it's like this. We'll say it's like this. And right here is uh, Heraklion. Here is Chiana, and they're both major airports. And then right in the middle is Rathimno. It's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> so now I'm just cutting up my, my mushrooms. And I'm going to throw them. Actually, you know what I should do? I don't have any olive oil, but whew, I have sunflower, sunflower oil. I should go and put my onions on the burner. And I should make more onions. That's me eating an onion. It's really good. So I'm going to heat up my oil. I'll be right back. My, my stove is up here. Do 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 don't go away. And all all burners are not equal. Some burners here are stronger than other burners. Okay. Da, da, da. There you go. And this is this is sunflower oil. Sunflower oil. It is pretty good. I still haven't got a chance to buy real olive oil. And there we go. The burner's already heated up. So I gotta, I gotta put something in it real quick. What I'm gonna, what I'm gonna put in is this. I chopped it up yesterday, but I put it in the fridge. I got distracted and instead of having dinner and making it myself, I went out to dinner last night. Mmm. Okay, back up I go. Kitchen, kitchen level two. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yum. <sighs> but yeah, thank you guys for being, being here. King, what's up? Yeah, this is Insta. So I, I stream on Twitch. I'm going to be streaming three times this week, but I could never wear this on Twitch because I'm not allowed to wear uh, things that reveal my nipples. <laughs> but they're so prominent, I can't hide them. <laughs> now I have Tracy Chapman's song stuck in my head. <sighs> you know how it goes when you get a song stuck in your head. It's just stuck in there for a while. Stuck in the middle with you. Hmm. How do you know when mushrooms are bad? Do you know if they're a little soft? Does that mean they're bad? <laughs> no, it's, you say they look hard, but these mushrooms, I don't think they're good. I think because I washed them yesterday, they're no longer good. <laughs> oh, well, I'll just toss them and focus on my eggplant and my delicious onion here <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah no admins on insta <laughs> gotta be nice though you gotta be nice though <laughs> just nice as a person but yeah <laughs> no no mods and uh no clothes restrictions except to wear clothes because <laughs> if you don't wear oh no mushroom go in the garbage <laughs> There are rules, just a little bit more flexible with the rules. <laughs> oh, good morning. For me, in Crete, it is 7 p.m. I'm on GMT plus three. And before I started traveling, I had no idea about time zones, especially, especially European time zones. Because for me, they're the most difficult because they just sound confusing. And I'm not saying I'm easily confused, but I'm not not easily confused. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. <laughs> I think I think eggplants are one of the most delicious things to eat. <laughs> so I understand if you don't like it, but it's pretty tasty if, if you cook it right. And eggplant is a big deal in Greece. A lot of a lot of dishes have it. Ooh, I love onions. I don't know if you can see. If 
I tilt you too forward, you'll just collapse. <laughs> Ooh, shout out to Carlos in Costa Rica. That's pretty awesome. That's on my bucket list of places that I want to visit. <clears throat> oh, cutting, cutting this onion here. I can never have enough onion. Never. <laughs> onion, oh, and garlic. Did I forget to cut the garlic? I don't think I did, but I don't think I cut enough. Mm. The best part of a red onion is the, the crispiness of it. I love crispy onions. And you know what I really love? I don't think they have them here, but I love onion rings. Oh, I need to learn how to make that one day. If I can make an onion ring one day, or not an onion ring, onion rings in general, that'd be pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Aw, thanks. Thanks, 2D. Glad you're a fan. I appreciate that. Okay, gotta go put these onions here and grab this handy implement and give things a stir. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I have, I do have garlic in there. Now I feel like I have onions in my eye. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers again. Oh my gosh. Mm, that wine is so good here. But I'm running out. I need to, I need to go buy another bottle for tonight. And another thing I've been doing a lot lately, hookah, shisha is really big here. Um, someone told me the difference between hookah and shisha. I think hookah is the instrument and shisha, shisha is what you smoke in it. I think, I think that's the difference, but in Greece, they love hookah, love it. So when I cut eggplant, I like to cut the top off and then I cut the bottom off too. And I put them in slices. Ooh, they're so good. <laughs> Okay, so this is this is about how thick I like it. And the best part is the double-sided one. Double-sided eggplant. I'm not a big fan of eggplant skin though. Just because it's not as tasty. But it's not bad. Cutting it. Cutting it up, trying to focus because I don't want to injure myself. Luckily, this is my first sip of wine today. <laughs> oh man, what are you guys eating for dinner? You Are you cooking dinner? Are you going out to eat? Different parts of the world are in different phases, but the pandemic still exists. In Rathimno, in Crete where I am, there's a midnight curfew, but it's not a curfew like you can't be on the street. But the restaurants and bars close and it's pretty strict. It's pretty strict. The cops drive around and they go, mur, mur, mur. they make uh, police, police car noises and they, they're ticketing the restaurants and any establishment that's open past midnight. So if you don't have your customers getting frozen, ooh, I froze for a second. I got scared. I'm like, what happened? <clears throat> <sighs> okay, and I'm gonna make this a little thinner too because I feel like it's a little too thick for me. A little, a little too thick and I'm doing a really bad thing. You never want to hold it like this. You want to put it on your cutting board. <gasps> hmm. But if I know you in person and you want to be on my live, feel free to request. But I have to know you in person. Because otherwise, you know, there's too much, too much badness that you could do. 
Aw, thanks, King. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take my eggplant and I'm gonna put it up there. Put it up there and I have to get my seasonings. Are my seasonings upstairs? They might be. Uh-oh. <laughs> and by upstairs, I mean up upstairs. They might be up up. Then you'll just have to come with me to get them though. Oh, they're here. I'm so happy for that. Oh, so happy they're upstairs. Okay. Do -do -do. So right now I'm putting I'm putting the, the veggies in the pan. There's plenty of room. Plenty of room for all of this eggplant. But you guys should probably come with me if I'm doing the spices. If I'm doing the spicing, you gotta be here. Oh my gosh, but the fumes from the onions cooking. Woo! My eyes, my eyes. <laughs> my eyes always want to cry when I'm making making anything with onions in it when I have to cut them. Yeah, so back to the curfew. There is a pretty strict curfew for the restaurants and bars. <sighs> okay, you're on the stove right now. <laughs> I hope you don't burn. Don't burn. Please don't burn. <laughs> okay, so we've got a little a little sea salt. And I like to put spices in my hand. I wish I had a finer salt. Do I have any salt that's less, that's not as thick? Oh, here. Oh, I do. Hmm. What should I do with this? I'll put it here. That, that salt was just too thick to use. So we'll, we'll go with this one. It's much more fine. And I don't need to put it in my hand. I could just put it like this. And I also have some black pepper. Black pepper. I'm going to put it here. Boom. I'm moving you a little closer to the burner. So if you feel like you're getting hot, can you tell me? I don't I don't want you to burn. And should I put some basil in it? Woo! I think I will. A little bit of basil. Hmm. This is really spicy, the chili, chili flakes. They're super spicy. So I'm only gonna put a little bit in. Because I overpowered my uh, my potatoes the other day. I made breakfast potatoes. Ooh, there's tzatziki mix too. <laughs> this is fun. I'm glad you guys can keep me company while I'm cooking. I'm very, I'm very grateful for that. <laughs> and I know I haven't, I haven't gone live on Instagram in a while, so figured why not? F I figured why not? <laughs> Oh. So I know it's noon in Canada right now. <clears throat> Did any of you guys ever go live on Instagram? It's pretty it's pretty interesting. It's an interesting thing to do. Huh. Boom. There we go. Turn it turning my cooking around. No, it's not cold. It's really hot in Greece. I am indoors right now though, but it's still, it's still pretty hot. But I am from Canada, so I'm pretty used to the cold. When I, when I first got here, I thought it was a little bit too hot, you know? I was like, whew, I don't know if I can handle this heat, but I've acclimated to it pretty well. And I'm gonna do a little bit more sunflower, sunflower oil and next time I go to the store, mm, I'm going to get me some olive oil. Because it's a, it's a crying shame that I'm in Greece, I'm in Crete, and I don't have any olive oil. I do have, I do have other things, though. Let me, let me flip this, and I'll tell you about it. I have some amazing 
alcohol drinks, some Cretan, Cretan, Cretan alcohols. I'm not going to get into them right now, but I'm going to show you. I don't want you to. I don't want you to miss out on anything. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. On the road again. On the road again. <laughs> Mm. 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 Yum. This is where the good lighting is. <clears throat> I usually, I usually use my ring light, and I bring it with me everywhere. But I could not bring it with me to Crete. It was. Uh, I just traveled with a carry on. Can you believe it? I am <laughs> the person that I am, but I only travel with a backpack and a carry on. I don't travel with a massive luggage. Right? You, would, you wouldn't have thought that. <laughs> um, eggplant for the garbage. Because it's just... Oh! <laughs> it's the top. It slipped, it slipped away from me. Oh. I should do the dishes, though. I should. What was I coming here for? <laughs> so what we're going to do... <clears throat> oh, I was going to show you the alcohol. Una momento. So, at the end of every meal, not in every restaurant, but in the nicer restaurants, and by nicer I mean hospitality style, the restaurants that really like go above board, they don't even expect like a tip for it. They'll, they'll bring a shot of Rocky to your table. Not completely clear on what Rocky is, but they make it here in Greece, and I bought a bottle, a little bottle, because I want to find my favorite. And it's called Rocky, Rocky Mellow. It is kind of like a grappa. It's, they mix it with honey. It gets, it's super good. Ooh, aged Cretan Rocky and thyme and honey. Like, a natural Cretan project, product. <laughs> So if you're talking about Crete, they don't say Cretans, they say Cretans. That's, that's the term they go by. <laughs> oh, you're from India. Cool. I am not in Canada right now. I'm in, I'm in Greece right now. And yeah, it looks really good. It's pretty tasty. I'll show you what else I bought. I got this other wine. Doodly doodly doo. I got this other wine right here. It is, let me show you, it's pretty beautiful. <gasps> Aw, hey. This is a pomegranate wine. I've never heard of this. It is actually a pomegranate wine. Like, how beautiful is this? You can make wine from pomegranates. Pomegranate wine. <gasps> I'm excited to try it. But I think I need to refill my glass. Mm. <laughs> oh gosh, maybe I need to go stir something too. I'm gonna pour myself a glass of wine. And then I'm gonna go stir that because it's making sizzling noises. And I wanna make sure my vegetables are mainly cooked before I add in my, my meat. I'm gonna show you the meat here. <sighs> hey, I'm on Instagram Live. <laughs> I am not alone. Oh my gosh, it's kebabs. I forgot what they were. Let's smell them and make sure they're still good. Mmm, they are. Kebabs! <laughs> I forgot about them completely. Okay, I'm gonna go stir, stir my, my dish there. La la, la la. Going up the stairs, going up the stairs. <sighs> so I'm flipping over my eggplant and having a real good time with it. It's looking very tasty. I've been told, I've been told I'm an expert eggplant cooker. 
That's a big compliment because some people aren't good at cooking, but I'm pretty good. <laughs> on the road again, on the road again. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. And I'm gonna be, I'm gonna add some more oil to it. Sunflower oil, what a crime to do in Greece. <laughs> And the eggplant is becoming smaller because it's cooking and condensing. And there we go. Mm. Got to put the lid on things. Woo, here I come. I might just do the kebabs on the grill, though. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, thanks. I'm wearing my, uh, my, my nice tank top, well not a tank top, a tube top, and my, my comfy panties, <laughs> my, my sports working out gym attire, so to speak. <laughs> yeah, the kebabs are really good and thick looking, like look at them, mm, they smell so good, smell so good, <laughs> I'm really excited. So when I cook things, I like to get them boop, to room temperature. <gasps> But I should do the dishes, because I need the dishes to plate the food. Unless I go cook upstairs. Should I? Should I go upstairs? I should go put this away. I'll be right back. <sighs> If you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen. But I can't get out of the kitchen. I cannot. <laughs> oh. Adriana, what's up? It's so good to see you here. I always like reading your comments. Aw, I would love to cook Peruvian food. <clears throat> um, you, you should give me some recommendations though. What could I cook? of Peruvian dishes that are more, the more simple ones. I, I need to work up, you know, baby steps with my cooking. I've never cooked Peruvian before and I've, I've cooked Greek food before. You know, the, the buttery lemon potatoes. Ooh, Greek potatoes are my favorite potatoes. Well, one of my favorite potatoes. Potatoes in general are just so delicious. Oh. <laughs> oh, fettuccine with Italian sausage. Martin, what's up? How are you? <gasps> Uncle Bassa. I love pasta. I almost had it for breakfast today. I know that sounds weird, but my, my, uh, my internal clock has been off since um, coming to Greece because we're seven hours ahead of the time that I'm used to. Live on Instagram. Woo! <laughs> <gasps> oh, when am I back in the 6th? I'm going to be back mid-September. My birthday is September 7th. So I'm going to be celebrating my birthday here. My good friend Frankie Kennedy. My, my, my babe. My babe Frankie is going to come see me. And I'm so excited for that. Ooh, a piece of onion. Mmm. Damn, that's good. I'm super excited. But I will, yeah, I think I'm going to cook these kebabs up on the roof. I just... I'm not sure how to get the grill started. Yeah. Do you wanna do you wanna experiment with lighter fluid with me? And charcoal? Do you think that's a good idea? I should probably put my hair up though. <laughs> but yeah, Martin, I, I love pasta. I was thinking about doing a gluten-free gluten-free penne earlier. But I got uh, I got pork schnitzel instead. Which is interesting that they have schnitzel in Greece, but they have everything. Oh, a ceviche! <gasps> I love ceviche. One time when I was at Hedonism in Jamaica, the, the chef showed uh, myself and Shannon how to make ceviche. It was really good. Mm -hmm. Aww. 
Thanks. I'm at an Airbnb right now. I wish this was my house. I could, I could, I could become a squatter here though, and I could, I could demand squatters' rights. But maybe that's just a Canadian thing. I would never do that though to anyone. <laughs> oh, Martin, you'd had a birthday. That's cool. Birthdays are different now. You know, we can't really get out there and celebrate like we could before and invite all our friends because there's bubble limits. Oh, okay, I haven't seen Time Cop in a minute. Well, more than a minute, like years. But um, Universal Soldier, I had such a crush on Jean-Claude Van Damme after seeing that movie. Is that the one where he does the splits on the counter? Aw, I'm glad I'm cheering you up. You guys, you guys cheer me up. <laughs> I am cooking eggplant. How did you know? <laughs> mm. Mm. I have to go give things a stir. <laughs> stir it up. Do, 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 stir it up. Mmm. Oh my god. Man, I'm a good, I'm a good cook when it comes to like delicious veggies. And eggplant, no, all the deliciousness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Steer it up. down to three. Whew. Oh man, it's getting super hot in here though. It's getting super hot. I think I should put this in the garbage and bring you guys upstairs. Do you guys want to see my, my rooftop? It's a pretty good situation I got. I gotta put on my slippers for that though. My outdoor slippers. <laughs> Okay, can I carry you and the meat and my phone? <laughs> oh, see, I'm sweating, I'm sweating here, it's so hot. Okay, I'm gonna go try and experiment with, uh, with cooking upstairs. <laughs> Should I, do you guys wanna stay? Do you want me to, do you, want, do you wanna stay with me? Gotta bring my wine. How do I have like, what do I do? How do I bring you and the kebabs and my alcohol and my phone? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I'll have to come back for my drink when I check on my eggplant. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna attempt to use the charcoal. I'm gonna attempt to use it. <sighs> Okay, up we go. Up we go. <sighs> so, a lot of the houses in Greece are multi level. And I'm whispering now because my neighbors, they've already heard me talking on Twitch. <laughs> I don't want to be that annoying neighbor that's always like loudly talking and going live, but I have a really loud voice. <laughs> I'm not out of shape, you are. <laughs> no, seriously, I walk. <sighs> I walk up the stairs so many times. <sighs> Let's go cat spotting. <sighs> oh, my cat's not there today. <sighs> I have a cat. Um, she is a product of Crete and comes around. She comes around for me because I, I have cat food and I feed her. <laughs> so I'm not sure how to do this. Where's my, where are my coal? Hmm. I think the coal might be under here. Nope. Maybe it's in here. Oh, 
Okay, I found the lighter fluid. I found the lighter fluid. We're, we're in business almost. <gasps> I found the olive oil. It was here the whole time. <sighs> it's hot. Hey, shout out to everyone that's here and experiencing this with me. Okay. Found the lighter fluid. I don't know if I trust myself with it though. Do you guys trust me with the lighter fluid? Lighter fluid, do you trust me? <sighs> I'm like panting because I'm pretty hot. Like, temperature wise. <sighs> oh, why won't you open? Uh, uh. I don't know where the coal is. So, should I go find it? Oh, happy trails, I'm in Crete right now. Uh, shh, I hear a neighbor. Hello. Okay. Um, do you know where the coal is? Oh, how do I open it? Okay. Okay. So I found out where the coals are. I have to pry this open. <laughs> I'm gonna pry it open. The door is a little bit stuck. I, I've never done a barbecue, a coal barbecue before, so this is an experiment. Um, I'm scared for my hair. I might put it up. Eh, I'm a little afraid. <laughs> okay. ah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh. Uh. Ow. Okay. I had to pry it open. I had to jimmy it open. Do you want to see? You want to see what I see? Um, so I had to get this open. Oh, it's stuck. Here, here's my coal. Ooh, what's this? I don't know what that is. <laughs> um, apparently, I have to let the coal sit there for a minute. <clears throat> I have to let it sit there. But I also have to to wash this. That, that is a step. Oh, I'm so happy to be able to like wear what I want and not be restricted like I am on Twitch. So how do I get the coals? How do I empty the coals from this? Do you guys know what to do? How do I get them to go away? Do I just scoop them off? Should I scoop off the coal? Scoop it? Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it is a hot day. Do you see the hills behind me? There is uh, the mountains, the mountains. I know I called them hills for a minute, but they're actually mountains. And it's golden hour. Kitty? No, just a person. <laughs> oh, with a shovel. Okay. Hmm. I have a garbage. I'm gonna get my garbage from over here and look for a scooper. Oh, this is kind of a good scooper, maybe. Maybe. Okay. Ignore all my alcohol bottles in there. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared to light this, but I can do it. I have faith in myself. Hmm. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use this bowl and get them. Scoop it in there. Ah. <laughs> this is kind of scary. I'm scared. 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 I can do it though. Moving this implement away. Putting it on the floor. Oh. Ah. I think something was trying to bite me. <laughs> okay. Oh no! When I pick up the old coal, it just disintegrates. What do I scoop it with? Hmm. I guess I'll just use my uh, my bowl here. Here we go. Scooping it in the bowl. Someone's gonna be doing dishes later. That someone is 
is she, that someone is me. I can't wait till Frankie's here and then we can do this together. <laughs> no, my neighbors, my neighbors aren't that fun to change in the window. <laughs> Sometimes there's a drone though that flies around. It always seems to come out when I'm in the hot tub though. Like, I don't know, I don't get it. <laughs> Hello? All kinds of noises up here. <laughs> okay. <sighs> do -do 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 -do. Okay, I'm scraping it with this bowl here. <laughs> I'd show you guys, but you probably would rather see me and the beautiful mountains in the background than like a bunch of coal. You can probably see coal any day. <laughs> doodly doodly do. Boop, boop, boop. Mm. Oh, I hope nothing burns on me. <laughs> John, right? <gasps> okay, here we go. Oh. It's kind of clear for, of the coals now. I'm going to give my, my hands a little rinse, though, because they're a little sooty. Oh, wait. No, I won't. I will not rinse my hands until I put the coal where I took the other coal. <laughs> no, King, the drone comes when I'm in the hot tub. <laughs> Do you touch coal? Is coal a thing you touch or just like put it out like this? I'm gonna put it out. Voila. <sighs> okay. I guess I have to touch it a little bit. Yeah. Oh, Coles, you are so helpful to my barbecuing. Here I go. Oh, I didn't expect that. I did not expect to get sooty. Ah! Kitty, I'm sorry. I love you. Come back. It's me, not you. Wait, guys, I'll show you my cat. My cat came back the very next day. Kitty. Kitty, I'm sorry for screaming. I didn't mean it. You startled me. Hi, baby. Mm. She comes around this time every night and I always have food for her. I uh, have ch cat treats. I always, I try and take, take care of my kitty, you know? It is, it's a social responsibility in Crete. Okay, so this is lighter fluid. It's a little bit scary. <laughs> it's not the first time I've scared a cat, though. But I mean, I'm scared of the the coals. So I put them in a nice little pile here. <laughs> and you're supposed to put lighter fluid on them. That's what I was taught. And you let them soak in before you light it. <laughs> I don't want to light it. Lighting things on fire scares me. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> okay. Uh, of course I have soot on my hands and my, uh, and my face gets itchy. Kitty. Ready? Kitty? Oh, she's probably coming in the back way. There's like another way for her to come around. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, I gotta wash my hands now. I'm letting those coals soak in. Kitty, don't scare me. I love you. <laughs> oh, there we go. Ah, whew. Okay, gotta, I wanna touch my hair, but I don't, because I have all the, the soot in it. Ooh, look at these hands. <laughs> look at these hands. <laughs> How did this happen? <laughs> Aw, oh, thanks, Joshua. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> no, no twerking, but hopefully not like burning myself with the barbecue. <laughs> hopefully not that. <sighs> okay, washing my hands and I double wash them. Sometimes I triple wash them. I do a cursory 
a cursory wash just to get as much soot off as possible. Mm. <laughs> oh, take out tomorrow. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do dinner out tomorrow. <laughs> the food's really good here. They've got a lot of great restaurants. <laughs> Hmm. La la la. And don't forget the thumbs. Nice and soapy. Can't believe I scared the cat away. She's such a good kitty. Okay. <sighs> hmm. I don't even have anything up here to wipe with. Or do I? Neighbors. <sighs> my wine's downstairs. Okay. We're gonna go downstairs. I need to get my scour pad because I need to I need to scour scour the the grill thing. And I need my wine. Oh my gosh, I have so much sweat now. I'm the sweatiest person. I don't know why I whisper on the stairs and talk loud on the roof. <laughs> Hello. <sighs> <laughs> no, when the cat came up, I like kind of screamed because <laughs> I wasn't expecting something to pop up in my in the side in my peripheral vision. <sighs> Ooh. Ah, I need to stir this. I need to stir this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Ew. Stir. Oh my gosh. Oh, perfect. Eggplant is great. The more you cook it, the better it tastes. Mm. Mm. Yum, yum, yum. Mm. Oh. Again, if anyone that I know is watching, hit me up with a live request and say you want to go live with me and we can. But if I don't know you, I can't go live with you because you might do bad things. <laughs> and I love Instagram too much to jeopardize ours. <sighs> okay, there we go. It's looking really good. Looking really good. Mm. I'm going to put.